Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make your images move in CapCut. So let's get started. So here we are in CapCut. And from here, the first thing that we would need to do is to input or import our images. So to do that, it's right here. So let's go right here and import it right here by dragging it here into CapCut. And from here, we want to drag it here into our timeline, just like this one. But in this case, we will be separating them because I will be using this as two different examples right here. So from here, what we're going to do for so first here in the first video. So you want to click on the video that you want to uh, make move. So if this image right here, you want to make this move right here. So you simply need to click on it. And then from here, you want to go and go here into position and size. And from here, you can make your image move by adjusting these options right here and using the keyframe option right here. So let's say from the beginning, we would want this video to zoom in gradually until it goes to the end right here. So what we're going to do is select this. And then from here, we're going to add a keyframe right here. So to add a keyframe, you simply need to click on the add keyframe right here. So in the scale, since we want it to zoom in, so we just want it right here. So as you can see, Right here, if you can observe in the timeline, I have a keyframe right here. So which means from here, it would be at this scale at 100%. And then as we want to progress into the videos, let's say right here, we want this right here to be about uh, zoomed in to 150% right now. So when we play it like this one right here, when we play it, this is what it would look like now and as you can see it's now moving zooming in depending on the scale that you want to adjust you can also do uh, vice versa so for example in this video right here so let's do the opposite so let's go for 150 at the beginning right here adjust it 150 and then add a keyframe by clicking the keyframe button and at the second one you don't need to add a keyframe just adjust it and it will be added automatically at 100 right there and when we play this video and as you can see, it is now zooming out just like that. Or if you want the image to move in different directions, then we can use the position option right here. So let's add a movement right here, like left or right maybe. So we can adjust like this one right here. Adjust that. And as it zooms in, it would go right here, just like that. And let's see how it moves right here. So as you can see, it's now moving like that. Or let's just remove the keyframes right here so that we can see it better and it's more pleasing so to remove it simply click on the keyframe button again to delete it and then from here let's just fix this one and then let's go for 100 again right here so that we can fix this 100 and let's fix this right there and then we need to also delete this keyframe right here so that it won't move so let's just use the position button Right here so the position right here and you can also rotate if you'd want to so for example this is what it would look like at the beginning just a simple one and then as it progress we want it to move by this much and rotate this much right here so let's say just like this one right there and let's see the image move right here so let's play it so from i mean we forgot to add a keyframe of course so let's go add a keyframe the rotate keyframe and position keyframe because this is what we have uh, modified so from the beginning let's just go and reset this to its normal value right here and zero for this one so that it be at a normal value and now when we play it it now looks like this and as, as you can see we can now move the position and rotate option right here so it would depend on how you would want to do it so that if you have found this video helpful, simply leave a like below or subscribe because it helps me reach more people. See you soon.